Hi, David Hall. It is the Gold and Silver Coin Report. It is December 30th, 2016. So let's do the 2016 Gold and Silver Coin Report. And it was a up, then slightly down year for gold and silver. But let's get to the actual figures. Gold right now as I'm speaking is not quite closed yet. It has another hour and a half or so to go. Is 1151.80. So let's call it 1150. Uh, the low for all the metals really was in January. The high was in August. So um, the high was 1363.75, August 2nd. The low in January is 1077. So we basically went from 1077 to 1151, about uh, about 70, 69 dollars, whatever the math is. Uh, so it was a modest year for gold, silver. Same thing, high in August. R right now, uh, as we're speaking, trading at 1598. Low was 1358, January 29th. Uh, peaked in uh, August at 20.71. So we are up, if I'm doing the math right, $2.40 for the year on silver. Platinum. Platinum was, it had a very interesting year. If you had the stomach for it and uh, could uh, pick it right, you could have made some money. Uh, as you know, Van and I aren't short-term traders. So uh, don't ask us about tomorrow, ask us about 10 years from now. So uh, platinum trading right now at 907.70. Low in January was 814. High in August was 1182. So it looks like platinum is up. Uh, 86, 95 dollars for the year. Currently at 907. Uh, national debt, uh, 19.8 trillion. So it looks like uh, Obama is going to double the debt. Uh, next highest uh, was Bush, who added about five trillion. Uh, Bush two. Uh, and interestingly, though, if you do it on a percentage basis, Ronald Reagan actually um, raised the debt in office the most on a percentage basis. So the outlook, uh, let's put it this way, uh, Van and I have been talking a lot about uh, the election this year, change in policies, etc. Uh, you know, we're not kind of supposed to talk about politics uh, because, you know, about half of the people will get mad at you. Uh, but whenever anybody asks me if I'm a Republican or Democrat, I say I'm a coin dealer. Okay, so I think of things a little differently than. Uh, you know, I think about the Federal Reserve, interest rates, convertibility, the dollar as a reserve currency, all of that sort of stuff. Plus, of course, we pay attention to the price uh, of gold, silver, and platinum every day. But we think, Van and I think, that the Trump administration, those policies that they talk about, who knows if they get all or some of them through, will basically be inflationary. And we think the metals are very cheap right now. So uh, we, uh, we also think the stock market's very expensive, though we're certainly not experts. I own a little bit of stock and I'll sell it on January 2nd. So, you know, the few profits I have will get supposedly a lower tax rate. I always answer questions what I would do if it was me, you know, what do you think of this coin? And I tell people if it was my coin what I'd think. Uh, so Van and I basically, we have a little bit of stocks. We have a little bit of gold and silver. Uh, I'm probably going to buy more. I think the metals are cheap right here. And of course we have a big position in coins both personally and you just look on our website at our uh, inventory. Uh, and we, we are stepping up our buying efforts for coins, select really high quality, important coins. 
right now we like. So our outlook for gold and silver is positive for 2017. For rare coins, it's very positive in a select way. We still have our favorites, gold commems, silver commemoratives, classic year 1892 to 1954. Uh, 19th century silver type issues, especially the quarters, halves, and dollars. Uh, silver, uh, really nice, exceptional gold coins. So if uh, you want to buy bullion, there's always the gold and silver eagles. $20 St. Gaudens, the old Morgan dollars. Give us a call about that. Uh, most important. Importantly, have a safe New Year's weekend, and uh, we look forward to having a great 2017 with you. Give us a call. Have fun with your coins and buy some gold and silver.